Hello friends. Today's video is going to be on paginated report and the parameters. A question was asked on my previous paginated report videos, like how we can make a parameter which is a single select, but also have the option to a all. So if user pick all, it shows all the data. If user pick a single value, because it's a single value uh, parameter, then it will show the report for that particular single value. So let's take uh, take a look at the Power BI rep uh, paginated report, and then we will uh, go step by step how to uh, how we can build this kind of parameters. So let's get to Power BI paginated reports. So here I have connected to a Power BI data set um, which has the sales data. I don't want to go into details around that, but uh, what I'm going to do is let's say we we have um, uh, creating a data set here, sales by date. I pick my data source, which is Power BI data set, and then go in a query designer. I will pick two columns in this query um, just for demo purpose, date, and then the a measure, which is a dollar sales. So if we run the query here, um, so this shows the sales by date. So that's pretty straightforward. Uh, okay. I'm not, uh, uh, I'm not going to add the parameters in the query yet, um, but I will do that manually through the DAX query. So we will look into that. So this, this creates the query, which is pretty simple, summarize columns, calendar date and sales. Now what we're going to do is because uh, we want to create our own parameter, let's say I want to create a parameter year, where users select a year and then it only gives the sales of that particular year, but also the option of all in that year list. So that it, if user pick all, then it gives the sales of all the years. Otherwise, it whatever the year is selected, it will give the sales for that year. So to, to do that, what I am going to do, I actually already created a a data set for parameters you can actually maybe we can create it from scratch so i created i named it usually when i create my own parameters uh, data sets for parameters i prefix with parameters so that i know this is these data sets are used for the parameters so let's uh, um, call it parameter year one because i already have a year what we are going into this parameter is basically we need to take the unique value of the years from our calendar table, which is in the Power BI data set, and then append another row to it, it's called all. So how are we gonna do that? If we go evaluate, so union, of course, because we want to um, create two, uh, append two uh, tables together. And the first thing I need to do is get the columns from my existing calendar year which is in my Power BI data set. So I need a unique values of my year from my calendar table. So that's a calendar. I know that that's the name of the table and this is the column. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to extract two columns out of it. It's own values calendar year return the one uh, column which is a year unique value of year. But we are going to create two columns with the similar values. I will show you why we're doing that. So this will be year and then another one I will call it year value, which will be also year. And I will tell you what does this, this, what will this do? We will look in DAX Studio. And then what we're doing is appending a, another row to this table. So that would be row function. And then uh, the syntax for that is the first is the column name. In this case, I will call the column name all the va column value. The name is year and the value is all. And then the next column in my table is year value. I will give it minus one. The reason why I want to give it minus one because I want to sort it by all on the top and then the other years at the bottom. So now once we have this union and we go order by uh, year value. So again, just to clarify, maybe we'll look into the DAX Studio, see if this is perfectly fine, it should work. Let's me, let me just run this query. So there should be a table called parameter year one. 
Oh, all right. So here it is, parameter year one with the two columns, ID year and ID year value. I already have a parameter called year, but let's create another parameter and connect it with the new data set we just created. So we call it year one. Again, the label is year. And the available values would be, in this case, get values from query. And I will use parameter year one, which I just created. And then my value will be ID year value one of the, that column, ID year value, which we created. But my label will be ID year. Uh, again, the label is all, the ID year value is minus one. But when there are years, the years is like 2010, 2011, 2012, and the ID for those is, is also, uh, year value is also the same as year. So, so what we want to display in the parameter is ID year, which is, uh, so if I go okay now, so year one parameter is created. Let's run it quickly just to see. Uh, again, ID, the first year parameter is, uh, I created it before, but let's look at the new one which we created. So as you can see, we have a all, and it's a single select parameter, and then we have a year uh, listed as well. All is in the top because we gave the year value minus one, and we are ordered it by uh, that particular column. So if we go back quickly uh, here in parameter year value, uh, uh, data set we created. If I pick this this query from here and go to the go to DAX Studio, I have already connected to my calendar table here. So let's uh, create a new query here. Uh, yeah. So connect to my uh, local model. Connect. And if I run this query, yet, so let's go one by one. What what it returns to us. Let's see if we don't union yet. So we remove all this union part and just run the simple query here. So what this is going to give us, year is the year column and the year value is the year value, it's the same, right? So the year value is the same, the year column. Now, if we just look into the row um, command, which we gave this um, row DAX function. So what this is going to return is, let's quickly run this. Um, I will comment this and just run this row one. And if we run this, so what we're getting all and the year value is negative one. So that's what we are, um, uh, we, we did in our row uh, function. So what we're doing is we are um, union, we are appending those two tables together. So once we append it, uh, sorry, so we have to have a comma here. So once we append it, so what we see is because we are ordering by year value. So the year value is minus one for the all and that's why it's showing on the top. So in the parameter, what we saying is use this as a label. For label means to in the drop down list, but to return this value. So if user picked like 2018, it will return of course 2018, but in all case, it will return negative one. So that's what, uh, what we're doing in the parameter uh, when we create the parameter. So. Now, so we, we, we have the parameter, we appended the all, and then we created a parameter manually, and uh, uh, we, we selected what va uh, value we're gonna use in the parameter, which query it is going to use. So once all this done is, what we need to do is, the, the original query which we have the sales by date, we have to now modify this, because the original query, if you know, it is not getting filtered by the parameter yet because we did not um, uh, create, uh, added the logic of the parameter in our query. So what that logic is going to be, what we're going to do here is, we're gonna say, okay, summarize column calendar date and then filter what we are filtering, our values, our calendar uh, table, year column. And then what we're going to do is, if our parameter, uh, hang on a second just to make sure our parameter year one, which is a new parameter is equal to negative one. So what does this mean is if I say this, it means that if year one is equal to negative one, it is a true and then return everything. So, um, so that's what this is going to do. And second condition is going to be or if it is not negative one, then what we are going to do is our calendar year
equal to year one. So if year one value is negative one, then it is true because this condition is going to get executed and it is true and it is going to return all the years. But if it is not negative one, because we have an or condition in here, then it is going to compare calendar year with the selected year in the parameter. So if it uses like a 2018, it's going to into this condition and then it is going to filter our calendar table for uh, 2018, the value which user has selected and then our report will run or return only those, those rows. Let's look at this in, in DAX Studio quickly. Uh, I'm going back to DAX Studio here. Uh, let's format this query. Uh, something is wrong. Oh, because the year parameter is not created. But instead of year parameter here, what we can do is define the variable. Let's define the variable called year one and give the value negative one here. Just for the sake of testing this. So we're going to year one. In pagina report, there's a parameter. That's why there's an ampersand sign with it. And then we format the query. What's wrong? Oh, sorry, comma here. Format the query. Okay. So now if my year one value is negative one, I expect it to see all the years. So that's all. Run. So I guess the this is a different model. I need to pick the measure what is in here. It's called sales, no dollar sales. So let's pick this one. Run. All right. So what we see here is we see all the years that uh, because we're seeing the sale date by um, sales by date. So we're seeing all the dates for all the years, uh, whatever is in our model. But if I say, okay, you know, uh, because this is negative one, I'm getting all the uh, dates. But if it is a no negative one, let's say I selected only 2017. And then what will happen is run. And it is only returning the 2017, three dates. There's a sales for three dates in 2017 and I'm getting only 2017. If you just selected 2018 and then run, so I will get the sales for all 2018. But if I go negative one, which is our, uh, the logic is negative one means all, and then I'm getting sales for all the years, starting from 2017 or whatever the date the sales are. So this is the behavior we are trying to mimic in paginated report. So now let's go back. So as I said, we, we put the logic in here. Uh, I'm not gonna execute this uh, query because I already have um, data set one, which I already created. So if you look into the data set one, um, the same thing, uh, summarize columns, calendar date, filter values, calendar year, and value year. Now what this is doing here is, uh, it's, you have to be very, very careful why we're using value year, because the parameter is returning the text value. So when we are, it's returning the text value, and uh, but we are comparing it with the number. So if we want to compare the text with the number, what we need to do is the value function actually convert the text to the number, and that's why we use the value. Let's actually do, uh, uh, check this in the DAX Studio as well. Let's say if I go year one as a in the quotes to make it text. I'm not sure if uh, this will give error or not. See, this is giving an error because it says DAX comparison operators do not support comparing value of tax with value of type integer. So what we need to do here is, as I did in um, pagina report, I have to use value around my, my variable in this case, but in pagina report, it's a, it's a parameter. So now if I run it, it should work, right? So now if it's a negative one and, or it is 2020, for example, if we run it, and that's that's what uh, it works fine now. So the value function is converting text to number, and that's why we need it because we are comparing the numbers. Um, so go back to paginated report. So this is what I'm doing here. So here is my parameter. So because it returned the text value, we are comparing text with the number. So I, I have to use the value function to make it work. So now this is this is all uh, working. So I already have the report here. I will just show you. I will delete whatever we just created to go back to my original um, working copy. So same thing, I have a parameter year table, uh, data set which is used in year parameter. I'm gonna delete this parameter as well. So uh, in year parameter, if you quickly see, uh, I'm using in available values, get value from query, which is parameter year. 
my value feed is id year value uh, year value which is minus 1 27 in 2018 but my label is all 2017 2018 2019 so this is label this is the value it is returning so if you go back and now if i run this report here so <clears throat> if i pick again as we saw so here the data is for four years 2010 to 2014 uh, so if i run view report I am only seeing the sales for 2010 and if I go 2011 so I am seeing the sales for 2011 I supposed to should work yeah so that's what it is but if I go all I should see the sales for all the uh, years so here you go so what we learned from this video is that you can create your own parameter data sets the way you want it and then you use those parameter data sets, uh, your own query, like in this case, we union, we created two uh, all appended to the years, and then we use that in the parameter. And then in our actual query, which used in the report for the Tablex visual, uh, we put the logic in there based on what we want. Okay, if the value is minus one, then return all the years. If it is not minus one, then compare the year with the calendar year with the parameter value and then it filter only on that particular year. Um, I hope you find this video useful. Um, let me know what you guys think about it. Um, do subscribe my channel. Until next video, have a good day. Have a great weekend. Bye for now. Thanks for watching.